With almost 500 sessions in Next 2019, it's understandable you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see Hanan Yusuf delivering choosing the right GCE instance type for your workload, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. Working with a cloud provider to match your unique needs with their specific capabilities can be tricky. It can be almost impossible to find the right VM at the right cost with the right performance in the right locations. And that's not even taking into account that your needs and budget will change as your project grows. There's got to be a better solution, which is why GCP from day one focused on taking a different approach. See, we believe in simplicity, flexibility, and efficiency. It should be simple to decide what instance types to use for your workloads. You should have the flexibility to scale up or down or even change your instances as needed, and your cloud offering should be efficient. You should not be paying for resources you're not using. At GCP, we do this by offering four types of VMs specialized for your specific workloads. We've got general purpose, compute optimized, memory optimized, and even preemptible VMs. So how do you actually pick the right VM type for you on Google Cloud? For 90% of your workloads, you can find exactly what you need with just one click. Yes, one click, because for most of your needs, general purpose VMs are the most flexible and simplest option. They're great for a wide range of workloads, like gaming, databases, web serving, and more. They let you upgrade for more speed or storage, create custom machine types, and you even get recommendations that tell you when you can make changes, like downsizing to a smaller VM that will save you money. It's pretty cool. But what about applications with more specialized CPU or storage needs? If you need cutting edge processing power for intensive workloads, that's where compute optimized VMs come into play. These offer the highest performance per core available on GCP and are a great fit for AAA gaming, high performance computing, and some types of scientific modeling because you get full transparency to the underlying hardware, tight consistency, and predictable performance so you can bet your most intensive application on these VMs. So if you're making the next Fortnite, this might be for you. Now what about memory intensive applications that deal with a ton of data? That's where memory optimized VMs come into play. They have a lot of size from one terabyte to approximately 12 terabytes with more coming. These are a great fit for things like high-end or in-memory databases, real-time and in-memory analytics. These use cutting edge technology to make it simple for you to persist data, scale up or down your application and access data at high speeds. And that brings us to the final type of workload, Bursty jobs where you need to run thousands of cores for a very short time on the cloud. That's a job for preemptible VMs, our affordable, short-lived VMs that run for up to 24 hours and can be preempted at any point in time. These are great for fault-tolerant batch or rendering jobs or simulations where you need compute resources, but you don't need the application to run in real time. What's cool is this feature is really just a flag that you can add to any of the previous VM types. And once you add this flag, you automatically get a fixed 80% discount. So you get a predictable pricing model. To wrap up, if you're looking for simple, efficient, and flexible VMs for your workloads, whether they're using a lot of CPU or memory, whether they're for batch workloads, or even something in between, Google Compute Engine makes it easy to find the right VM at the right cost with the right performance for your needs. If you'd like to see Hanan's full talk, which goes into much more detail about the technologies that make each of these VM types possible, click on the link in the description below. And don't forget, subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more Next Rewind content. I'm Carter Morgan. Thanks for watching.